In this video, I'm going to give you the top five best offensive formations in Madden 22. And if this video reaches 500 likes, I will give away free premium memberships to 10 people who are subscribed to this channel and comment on this video. With that said, let's get into it. Coming in at number five on our list of best formations in Madden 22 is the formation Gun Tight. Gun Tight can be found in nine different playbooks in Madden 22 but I prefer to use the Washington football team, the Washington Commanders playbook. We're gonna be looking at the plays drive corner, PA cross, and flanker drive. The first play that we're gonna look at out of gun tight is drive corner. Now, this is one of the best corner routes in the game from the Y receiver. In order to set this play up, we're gonna streak our X receiver, we're gonna put our B receiver on a flat route, and we're gonna wheel route our running back. The last thing about this that's very important is we like to run this corner out to the short side of the field. You can see the ball is on the left hash mark and the corner out is going towards the left side. That corner out will beat every single zone defense in the game. We're gonna snap this. You can see we've got the wheel, we've got the A receiver, but more importantly, we've got this deep corner out that is just impossible to guard out of zone defense. The next play we're gonna look at is PA cross. Now this is one of my favorite plays in the game to go against cover two, and it will absolutely dominate any cover two in the game. So what we're gonna to do to set this up is all we need to do is streak our A receiver and snap this ball as quickly as possible. You're gonna notice our B receiver get wide open for a huge gain and potentially a one point score if we're able to make one man miss. The other nice thing about this play is if this user defender happens to forget his assignment or bites on the play action, we can also hit this A receiver on a streak route. So we're gonna snap this. You're gonna notice that nobody's in the middle of the field and we can hit the tight end for a huge gain up the middle of the field, potentially another one play score. The next play we're going to look at is flanker drive. I like to use this play when our opponent sits in a lot of man coverage. Now you can see we're in man coverage here on defense and I've put hard flats on the field from our safeties. Now the interesting thing about that is you will see that from time to time in game, but when we set the play up like this by putting our X receiver on a flat and putting our B receiver on a flat, those flat routes will pull those hard flats by the safeties to the sidelines and our RB and Y receivers are going to put the user defender in conflict. They're going to have to make a choice. They're going to either have to guard RB or they're going to have to guard Y. They're not going to be able to guard both and we're going to have an easy choice. They don't guard RB, we're going to take RB and you're going to see we're going to be able to rack that up the field for a huge gain. And if they do chose RB, we just throw to Y for an easy read against man coverage. And coming in at number four in our top five offenses of Madden 22 is Gun Trips TE. Now this can be found in seven different playbooks in Madden 22, but we're going to be looking at the Patriots playbook. The plays that we're going to be looking at are curl flat, PA shot wheel, and halfback quick base. Now the first play that we're going to look at out of the formation trips TE is the play curl flat. Now this is one of the best plays in the game and all we're going to do to set this play up is to streak our A receiver. This route combination will beat every single defense in the game and what we're looking to do is snap this ball, stand tall in the pocket, and hit our B receiver down the field where that route will beat all zone drops and will get us a huge 30 to 40 yard game every single time. The next play that we're going to look at at a trips TE is the play PA shot wheel. Now this is one of the best one play touchdowns against cover two, cover three, and man defense in the game. All you need to do to set this play up is streak your Y receiver, put B on a slant, and then when you snap this ball, you want to stand tall in the pocket, wait for that X receiver to clear, and throw your one play score for an easy, huge gain or walk in touchdown against cover two, cover three, and man. Next, we're going to cover what might be the best run in the entire game, and it's the play halfback quick base out of Trips TE. All you're going to do is snap this football, and you're going to wait for your blockers to get in place and move the ball up the field. This is one of the hardest runs to defend, not only for the computer, but especially for a human opponent. It is impossible to gap shoot, and you need to just wait for your blockers, and you're going to gain somewhere between 5 to 10 yards almost every single time. At number three on our list of best offensive formations in Madden 22, we have Gun Bunch TE. Now this formation can only be found in five different playbooks in Madden 22. We're gonna be using the Las Vegas Raiders offensive playbook. The plays that we're gonna be looking at are PA boot over, curl flat corner, and the inside zone. The first play we're gonna look at out of the formation Bunch TE is PA boot over. Now we're gonna look at the one play touchdown that'll beat every defense in the game out of this play. All we're gonna do is we're gonna streak our Y receiver, we're going to block our tight end, we're going to put our running back on a wheel route, and we're going to zig route our B receiver. Now you're going to notice that we're going to be able to get to the outside a little bit, and our X receiver is going to be open over the top for an easy one-play score against every single defense in the game. 
Now we're gonna look at the play curl flat corner. Now I like to go to this play when our opponent runs a lot of cover two, but it will also work against cover three, cover four, and occasionally man. So what we're gonna do to set this play up is we're gonna streak our X receiver, we're gonna flat route our tight end and wheel route our running back. That's gonna give us a flat wheel combination on the right side of the field and a wonderful flood combination to the left side. Now you can see our opponent is in cover two and we're really looking for a corner route to the Y receiver. So we're gonna snap this and you're gonna notice that we're gonna have this corner out and get over all of those zone drops and give us a huge gain on the sideline. The next play that we're gonna look at out of Bunch TE is inside zone. It seems like a really weird recommendation and setup to be using, but this is one of the best runs in the game and it's very difficult to actually shoot this on the defensive side for a loss of yards. All we're gonna do is make it look like we're running PA boot over or curl flat corner, and then we're gonna snap this ball, not hold the turbo button, and we're gonna be able to get meaningful yards almost every single time with this run. This run is such a great combination run with PA boot over and the other plays that we're running out of this formation. At number two in our list of best offensive formations in Madden 22, we have Y off trips paths, also known as U trips. Now this formation is exclusive to the New England Patriots playbook. The plays that we're gonna be looking at are Y option wheel, curl flats, and TE whip. The first play that we're gonna look at out of U trips is Y option wheel. Now in order to set up this play, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our RB on another flat route. I know he's already on a flat route, but we're gonna re-flat route him. We're gonna put A on an out route, and then we're gonna motion over RB to the other side of the formation. And once he gets right in front of X, we're gonna snap this football, and you're gonna notice we're gonna have Y wide open, but we're really looking for this backside post for a huge gain up the sideline for really big yards. The next play that we're going to look at out of this formation is the play curl flat. Now this is one of the best post routes in the game as it's going to get deep enough to beat all zone drops and it's going to beat man coverage as well. Now in order to set this play up, what we're going to do is we're going to streak our X receiver, we're going to block our tight end, and we're going to put our B receiver on an in route. Now this will beat all defenses. Man, cover two, cover three, you just have to make the right read. So we're going to snap this and again we're ideally looking for our RB receiver to beat over the top for a huge gain, make one guy miss and potentially walk in for a one play score. The next play that we're gonna look at is the play TE whip. Now this is a great man beating play. The tight end route has a unique whip route that no other play in the game has. Now what we're gonna do in order to set this up is we're gonna put our B receiver on a fade route, we're gonna put our RB receiver on a hitch, and then we're gonna motion over RB. When he gets between our running back and our X receiver, we're gonna snap this football. You're gonna notice that we're just gonna have multiple man beating routes. Our A receiver wins, our X receiver wins, and they're at different levels making this very difficult to guard for a user. And finally, coming in at number one of our top five offenses in Madden 22, it's Gun Bunch. Now Gun Bunch can be found in 21 different playbooks in Madden 22, but not all Gun Bunches are created equal. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook, and we're gonna be looking at the plays Verticals, Bunch Trail, and Mesh Spot. The first play we're going to look at out of the formation Gun Bunch is the play Verticals. Now this is maybe the best play in the game, and there's two different looks that we can set up out of this, and first is to just put our Y receiver on a wheel route. This will dominate any zone coverage in the game, we're going to have our A receiver, our RB receiver, and our Y receiver open. And I am going to snap this ball, but the other thing that we can do is we can put our Y receiver on an out route. That will help us when our opponent's in some type of man coverage or they're in a really heavy drop zone. So what we're going to do is we're going to wheel route our running back, we're going to snap this ball, you're going to notice that we could throw A, but we really want this deep crosser for a huge gain. Again, going to beat almost every defense in the game. The next play out of Gun Bunch is the play Bunch Trail. Now, this is one of my favorite cover two beaters in the game. All you need to do, and here's a cover two on defense, is come out and snap this ball as quickly as possible. You're going to notice that we have a deep post that's going to find a sweet spot for a huge one play touchdown against any cover two defense. Now, you will notice we got a lot of pressure there. So one thing that I do like to do occasionally is block the running back and then snap this ball as quickly as possible just to give ourselves a little bit more protection in the pocket and you're going to notice you're going to have a wide open easy score against all cover twos. The last play we're going to look at out of Gun Bunch is the play Mesh Spot. Now this is one of the best zone beaters in the entire game and it's a great red zone play. In order to set this play up we're going to put our X receiver on an out route, we're going to flat route our B receiver and we're going to streak our RB receiver. Now we're going up against the cover three here but really all we're doing is we're looking for the wheel route. We're looking for the wheel route to the running back first, and if that's not open, we're going to look to the wheel route to the tight end next. And you're going to notice that both of these wheel routes find just a great seam in any type of zone defense.
defense and you're gonna be able to throw that as a low ball for an easy 10 to 15 yard gain. And if you like this video, I know you'll like this one where I give you one of the most unique and explosive offenses in all of Madden 22.